Hey everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm bringing you another benchmarking video. That's right. Uh, we have the opportunity here at Newegg TV Studios every so often to uh, get our hands on some pretty high-end hardware. And uh, if you haven't noticed, to my left right here I have the boxes for four EVGA GeForce GTX 780s. These are the special uh, ACX cooled design versions of this. So uh, the fact that we had four of these is actually for a couple builds that we have coming up. And I was like, hey, we have four, we should, we should do four-way SLI. Let's set it up, let's benchmark these, and let's see what kind of performance we can get. Because if you guys remember uh, the Titan, when it first came out, uh, we did some four-way SLI benchmarking with, with that as well, which is very exciting. And it's, uh, it's often cool to just kind of see if I had an unlimited budget, what could I do with it? And um, unlimited, definitely you'd probably go for the Titan. If you're slightly more limited, you know, if you only had like maybe two, two and a half thousand dollars to spend just on your graphics card, then you might go maybe with uh, four 780s. But this video is a bit of a, a warning to you folks out there because uh, as we've stated in a few videos, four-way SLI is something that the 780 is capable of. However, it is not currently supported. So you might notice on the boxes here for the EVGA cards, we have three-way SLI listed. So currently right now with uh, the release drivers from NVIDIA, four-way SLI is not possible. Um, in fact, when you plug it in and try to set it up, it will give you some sort of weird thing and it says you have five video cards and it, and it just doesn't work. Um, now, the reasons why it doesn't work is uh, essentially due to the fact that it's not supported in the driver. However, earlier versions of the driver, the beta 320.00 driver actually did have support for four-way SLI. So, uh, via a website, uh, with, uh, I'll, we'll put a link down in the description uh, for that website if you want to check it out. Um, we were able to find a way to get that to work. Um, sort of a bit of a workaround, but um, it's not something that I would recommend folks at home do, uh, for, especially if you're going for long-term use. So that being said, uh, we did get four-way SLI to work. I've got it set up with three-way SLI right now. Uh, I've got the Titan out here because I wanted to give kind of a point of reference uh, to see what kind of uh, the comparative performance from the 780s and four-way SLI versus uh, single Titan at least, and you can kind of see some of the scaling there, as well as the results of uh, testing a graphics card configuration that isn't really even supported. Uh, but first off, before we jump into the benchmarks, let's take a quick closer look at our EVGA GeForce GTX 780 ACX. Now the GeForce GTX uh, 780 is based on the same GK110 GPU that you find in the GTX Titan, uh, which is simply an epic massive GPU, uh, which is located right beneath right there. Um, EVGA has uh, also done this custom designed ACX cooler or active cooling extreme. Features two large cooling fans, huge aluminum fin array, and uh, EVGA has claimed that this is going to give you enhanced uh, cooling performance over the stock uh, GTX 780 uh, cooler, also the same one that you, you might see in the Titan. So uh, apart from looking pretty nice with the uh, black and uh, sort of chrome silver aesthetic that you have going on right there. You also, of course, do have your SLI capability, so that's uh, located via your SLI fingers, which are down there on that end. Let me give a quick side-by-side -side of the 780 right here with the uh, Titan, which is right there. The Titan, uh, compared to the stock 780, is really practically the same. It's almost really difficult to tell the difference between the two of them, except for looking at the words Titan up here, where it would say GTX 780 right there on the stock version of the 780. But there's a quick side-by-side uh, -side comparison, and now let's jump over and take a look at the test bed. Now, our chassis that we're using for our test bed is the Imwin D-Frame. It's a special custom list limited edition uh, case, uh, which is made of aluminum, which has it's orange, looks really cool, it's very eye-catching, and it actually works great as an open test bed uh, because it gives you easy access to all the parts inside. Uh, power supply over there on that side is the Rosewell Hercules, 1600 watt, uh, which is definitely something that you're going to want if you're going for a three-way uh, SLI configuration with the 780 um, because we were pulling upwards of 850, 900 watts under full load. Uh, of course, the 1600 watt power supply is in there so that we have headroom in it for four-way uh, configurations, for example. Um, but apart from that, you can see our three uh, EVGA GTX 780s uh, currently set up in three-way SLI with the bridge right there and power connectors going on down there at the bottom. Our motherboard holding everything together there at the back is the ASUS Rampage 4 formula. Uh, we currently have that outfitted with 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident X DDR3 memory. Uh, it's running at 1866 speed. Our processor underneath right there in the middle is the uh, Intel Core i7 3970X Extreme Edition 
Sandy Bridge E processor, and that is overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz, just to make sure that we have plenty of CPU headroom, uh, so that we're not running into any limitations right there. It's cooled by the uh, Cooler Master Sidon XL, the sort of thicker width, 120 millimeter CPU cooler. And then uh, for our operating system, it's kind of tucked away here in the back, but you can sort of see it. At least you can see the uh, <laughs> the 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 what are those called? The zebra stripes, the UPC code. <laughs> anyway, that is a SanDisk Ultra Plus 256 gig SSD, and that is running Windows 7 64-bit. Moving along to our benchmarks, uh, we're gonna start off with a look at our system configuration. I just showed you the test bed, so you can see all the hardware listed off right there. We're comparing the single GTX Titan to a single 782-way SLI 780, 3-way SLI 780, and then also 4-way SLI 780. And again, bear in mind, we were using the 320 beta driver for the 4-way test, just so we could actually work that out. Um, as far as power draw, we hit about 1,050, a little over 1,050 watts uh, with the four-way configuration, a little over 850 watts with the three-way, about 650 watts with the two-way, and our uh, peak was uh, under 500 watts for the uh, single uh, 780 as well as a single Titan. Uh, and then our peak operating frequency for the GPU was 992.9 megahertz. Our first benchmark is 3D Mark, and this is actually Firestrike Extreme, which has been updated to support three-way and four-way configurations. And here we can actually see pretty decent scaling going up the line uh, from about 4,300 with a single card, 7,300 with the two-way, 9,700 with three-way, and then an epic 11,584 with our four-way SLI configuration. Graphics score with that four-way SLI configuration was 14,223. 14,233, again, a uh, pretty epic score. You won't really see anything this high outside of Titan configurations or overclocked uh, uh, exotic cooled configurations. So it's nice to be able to plug that in and immediately see some results. We also have a 3D Mark 11. Uh, we ran it in extreme mode only, which is kind of the only thing that I wanted to do with a four-way uh, SLI configuration. So again, we can see some pretty decent scaling here going up the chain from 4,600 to 8,300 to 11,500 to 14,344, our four-way SLI uh, XMARKS results. And uh, for graphics, 14,783. Next up, we have Unigen Heaven. This is uh, Heaven 4.0. Ran this at 1920 by 1080 as well as 2560 by 1600. Again, here we can see decent scaling, at least going up to the three-way uh, mark. We went from 50 to 92 to 130, going from single to two-way to three-way. Uh, still had a bit of a boost, adding the fourth card to 147.7, at least at 1920 by 1080. Uh, and then our peak uh, with the four-way configuration at 2560 by 1600 was 87.2. I do want to point out that in three-way and four-way with this particular test uh, we did see some very high temperatures we actually hit 92 to 95 degrees celsius with the three-way and four-way configurations so that's something to bear in mind again this is a synthetic test so it's not something you'll see in real life too much and in our real world benchmarks we didn't hit anything close to that but something to point out uh, next up, let's move over to some real-world tests. So Bioshock Infinite are, is our first actual game that we're going to show. Uh, so we can see the Titan outpacing the GTX 780 in the single mode, but uh, with two-way, we jumped up to 144 FPS. With three-way, we hit 174. And then with four-way, this is a, a matter, I believe, of the support uh, from the driver as well as just the fact that the game is not uh, really optimized for multi-GPU configurations such as this, we actually dropped down just slightly and you're going to see this uh, being a trend. The four-way SLI configuration doesn't always get you the benefits in the games that you're playing. Again, that's just a matter of the drivers being optimized and uh, we'll, I'll talk more about that at the end. Crisis 3, uh, another really popular video game and uh, definitely very difficult for a lot of uh, computers to play, especially at the highest settings with everything turned up. And 1920 by 1080, again, we saw scaling going from a single to two-way configuration. However, it kind of dropped off after that, only from 90 to 94 when we went to three-way. Uh, and then 94, just one more point up to 95 FPS when we went to four-way, that's at 1080. Uh, we saw some better scaling at 2560 by 1600, so that's an example of why uh, you don't see these multi-card configurations used quite as often with a single 1920 by 1080 monitor. But there we did jump from 27 to 53 to 77 to 93, going from one, two, three, and four cards. Finally, we have Metro Last Light. 
uh, another really, really taxing game when it comes to uh, the video cards that you might be using and the amount of uh, horsepower it takes to get good frame rates. At 1080, we were totally good uh, as far as uh, playing at your standard 60 frames per second. We actually hit 66 with the single 780. We jumped up to 86 with the two-way. Uh, 89 with three-way, and then here again we saw a drop-off back down to 84 when we went with four-way SLI, so not really configured uh, optimally for the four-way SLI configuration, at least with the 780s. Uh, 2560 by 1600, we again saw a nice jump from 42 to 64 from single to two-way, up to 67 with three-way, and then back down to 58 with the four-way configuration, so it's not really taking advantage of that fourth card. So what have we learned from these benchmark tests? Well, uh, first off, we've learned that a GTX 780 four-way SLI configuration, not necessarily an optimal one, and more specifically so, not necessarily even being supported by NVIDIA at this time. So uh, not something that I'd recommend, and that's why they're only saying three-way SLI configuration on the box. Now, the takeaway from this is if you're looking at, at these results and you're saying, why NVIDIA, why haven't you enabled four-way SLI for the 780? Well, they have for the GTX Titan, and if you're going for the best of the best, chances are you would opt for a Titan maybe over a 780, although it does add a significant uh, amount of dollars that you would need to pay for that amount of video cards. However, when you look at even going from a single video card to a two-way SLI configuration, not even talking specifically about a high-end card like a 780, the numbers drop off precipitously. In fact, uh, the uh, well, I, I can't really say a number right off the top of my head, but I know that as many, 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 many fewer people are going with a multi-GPU configuration than is going with a single GPU configuration. The reasons are numerous. You have to pay more for a second GPU, of course. Uh, the support is there uh, for two-way configurations a lot more than it would be for three-way and four-way configurations, but uh, it still needs to be there. So not every game is going to have a SLI, a two-way SLI or a two-way Crossfire X configuration uh, available for you in the drivers. Now, when you go beyond that from three-way and even a four-way SLI, it drops off even more. So the number of people who have four GTX 780s to even try using is probably like me and maybe like two other guys. I hope you're watching right now. Way to go. But uh, because of that, uh, the amount of support that it would take to uh, optimize uh, the drivers as well as games for that type of configuration, just it doesn't really make sense from a practical perspective. You're really going to be talking about setting up something specifically for a few people like me who might be lucky enough to have access to cards like this or a few people who just have enough money that they can throw around and do whatever the heck they want at, what any time, at whatever time. But if you're that person, just get four Titans. I mean, you've got the money, right? You can afford it? Probably. Anyway, uh, but apart from that, uh, these are still fantastic cards, and uh, we did st still see some decent scaling going from a two-way uh, SLI configuration to a three-way SLI configuration. So that's still uh, a viable option. Again, it's going to be hit or miss depending on what games you're playing, and uh, uh, that definitely keeping your drivers up to date is going to be a very key thing to do in that particular situation. But hopefully this at least uh, gave you guys uh, a bit of amusement because it was kind of a fun little test to set up here. Again, uh, four-way SLI is not officially supported by NVIDIA for the GTX 780, so this was just a bit of a lark, I suppose, for us to uh, set up for you guys here on Newegg TV. But thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it or if you have any thoughts you'd like to share, please post those in the comment section down below. I'll be taking a look, and uh, maybe I'll go in there and... Uh, you know, say hi to you guys. That'd be cool. Uh, but of course, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you all next time on Newegg TV.